Good morning to episode number 693 of Empowering Morning Sessions. So this is meant to empower all of us. This is meant to wake us up from the perpetual sleep that we have, we have a tendency to fall into. Okay, so wake up. Good morning. And now you've woken up. And what do you want to do with this morning? And what do you want to do with the rest of the day? That's, that's the question, isn't it? So I always think of every morning as another opportunity with gratitude. So let's do a little clearing. What energy, space, and consciousness will I be that would allow me to experience every experience 100% and allow me to take the maximum learning that that experience has? Right and wrong, good and bad, for online shorts, boys, poets, and beyond. What energy, space, consciousness can I be that would allow me to adore my life, love my life, and love me as a wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary human being that I am? Right and wrong, good and bad, for online shorts, boys, poets, and beyond. So yesterday we talked about the life of limitless possibility that's available to us. You know, so there are 100 million things available to us and we can choose some and live from that. We can, out of that, choose what will be my life purpose and declare yourself to yourself that this is my life purpose and let me start living my purpose in life. All right. So when somebody asks you, how are you? You'll never say, I'm all right. Chal rai, kat rai hai. You'll not say things like that. You'll say, well, I'm a man on a mission. I have a purpose to fulfill. So back in 1982, I discovered my purpose. And the purpose was to have a world that works for everyone with no one and nothing left out. So I was really inspired by that vision. You know, a world that works for everyone with no one and nothing left out. I said, wow. And I discovered a way of doing that. So what I discovered was that you can get people out of their frozen mindset. That was the word they used. The word I use is default mode. But I realized in those, when I was 27, that time that, you know, the default mode is my prison. You know? My mind, body, emotions are supposed to liberate me, not to imprison me. But what was I doing? I was being imprisoned by my beliefs, my way I was looking at the world, the way I was relating with the world, the way I was defining and confining and limiting everything to my own conclusions and decisions. That did not allow for too much possibility to turn up. Okay, I realized that. And for the first time in my life, I felt liberated. And believe me, the first thought that came when I felt liberated was, wow, I don't know. I don't know. For one hour, I was just in a daze walking around saying, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Why? Because that, before that, I was Mr. I know. <clears throat> so you'll notice that we are all like that. I know, 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 I know everything. Anybody talks anything, I'll say, I know. This was in the Bhagavad Gita. Anybody talks anything, I'll say, I know. This was written in Dale Carnegie's book. Problem was, I'd read too many books. And I still do. So reading is supposed to liberate our thinking, right? But if it does not, then it doesn't make sense, right? So the empowering morning conversations are not meant to condition you, confine you, define you. They are meant to liberate you and me, by the way. So as I speak with you and as I ask the questions that I ask you very frequently, I am also getting liberated. 
So let's do a very quick clearing before I hand you over to our seven minute speaker for the day. Hmm? So what have you made so vital and so valuable and real? What have you made so vital and so valuable and so real about your decisions, judgments, conclusions, and computations that keeps you from living a life of infinite possibility? Everything that is times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and power, nine shots, boys, poets and beyonds. So when you uncreate all that, which is stopping you from living a life of infinite possibilities, you will be liberated. Wow. You want to be liberated? So I am now going to invite our seven minute speaker for the day. The time now is 7.16, Guru Nandan, over to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. He's our mind expert. Good morning, everybody. How's your brain today? Good. So I'm sure brain is, you are in EMC and brain is bubbling out. Okay, so I will request before I start everybody to switch on camera because, you know, brain exercises, if you want to learn, you need to be on camera. Otherwise, how would I know whether you are you know, you are whether able to do it or not. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not putting my background because you would not be able to see my hands then. Right. So a moment of my hands will not be possible. OK, so my request to everybody, please switch on camera. Doesn't matter wherever are you. It's OK. You look so nice. And before I take over, I would request Neeti ma'am to share her experience. She's been doing this uh, brain exercises with our expert trainer uh, on a one to one purpose. So please, Niti ma'am, in one minute, if you can just summarize, how's your feeling after doing this workshop with our trainer? Ah, yes. Um, I think I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, where benefits are concerned, I can list them as uh, immediately in the first three, four days, I felt there was a, my vision improved and it has remained that improved state. There has been no fallback since then. The vision is coming from deeper inside rather than just from, uh, you know, from close by. So uh, that is making me feel comfortable. My eyes are lesser tired, though I work about 12 to 14 hours on the computer every day. Uh, secondly is uh, my memory is improving. My recall value has improved drastically. I may not remember something now, but I, ha I have that confidence growing on me that when the time comes to speak that uh, reference, it'll come to my mind. Right at that point of time, it'll come back to me. That confidence is now uh, increasing in me. And I think this is something everybody needs to do. It helps you deal with all the stresses in life and keep yourself healthy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nitiji. Thank you so much. The reason I ask you to share is because people will start believing more and they will practice every day. So my request, everybody, let's do the exercises that we have learned uh, three, four days back. I'm sorry I couldn't come because of my wife is in hospital. She's going to get discharged today. So let's start. I won't lose the time. So everybody, we had done the first exercise like this uh, three, four days back. So both your fist in front of your face and one of the any one of your hands is pointing towards the fist. Now going back, that hand goes back as a fist. The other hand becomes a pointer pointer to the fist and now you do it yes pointer to the fist pointer to the fist hand and fist we call it hand and fist exercise okay very good 10 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 why people are not in camera hasina ji i want to see you dr hiral Abhinav ji, Rama ji, please switch on camera and who is we? Okay, now let's go to the another exercise. Thank you, Kuldeep ji. Now the second exercise we did was this one. One thumb and one, uh, you know, pinky finger. Thumb of one hand, pinky finger of other hand. I'm sure a lot of people must be struggling. Ashok ji, excellent. Very nice. Mr. Sahu, there is a process to do it. I don't know whether you were there on that day or not. Hasina ji, thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much. Abhinav ji, 
Ramaji, Dr. Hiral, Pooja, please switch on your camera. Priya ji, please. Kasa, Sai, bro. Please switch on. Okay, we'll do it 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. People who missed on the other day, the, iska jo hai karne ka, the way you have to do is, first 20 times or 30 times, you uh, you know you take out and just open and close a thumb of the same hand and pinky finger of the same hand 20 to 30 times you do this whoever missed it three four days back and the, then you do the other one other one other one other one about 30 times other other one with 30 times and once you are you think it is good now you have practiced it enough for 30 30 or, or maybe more how much you want to do then you can consciously try this slowly slowly consciously uh sao abhi bhi dono pinky fingers khul rahi hai slowly try to focus very good vikram ji very nice arvind said ji very good perfect prem sir very nice abhi aap ek hi saath wo kar rahe hai very nice ne, kamal ji practice kar raha hu sir practice kar raha hu main dekh pa raha hu sir atul sir can you see you doing it very nice very good venkatesh sir good morning Okay, very nice. Now, let's learn the new exercise for the day. So, we will add one exercise every day. So, it's not heavy for you. And we are able to do it in seven minutes. Now, the next exercise is very interesting. Every no one knows how to make victory. Everyone is here to be victorious. So, show me your victory. Everybody, please show me your victory. Victory is towards the camera. Victory is towards the camera, not towards you. Victory is to be shown to the world, Hasina Ji. Very good. One hand victory, one hand victory. Victory only with one hand, Asina ji. Yes. Now everybody I can see doing victory. Priya ji is already ready. Huh? Very good. The second hand is the pistol. Single barrel pistol. Don't show me double fingers. It is single barrel, not double barrel pistol. Okay. Now the brain, left and right brain. So my right brain is saying pistol, left brain is saying victory. Now both hemispheres of the brain will interchange like this. I know it is not going to be very easy for you. But I'm going to teach you technique. Don't worry. So I'm going to tell you how to do it. Right. Now, let's do it. <clears throat> so victory on the one hand, victory on the other hand. Now both hands victory. Now I'm, I'm teaching you the technique. Both hand victory. Now convert one hand victory into pistol. One hand victory into pistol. One hand. Yes, Ashokji. No, no, Ashokji, keep it there. Keep it there. Ashokji, keep it there. Keep it there. Okay, now... Uh, Sao Saab, trigger on kije. Pistol ka trigger. Thumb, thumb upar kije pistol ka. Sao Saab, thumb, 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 ha. Or victory meri taraf kije. Victory camera ki taraf kije Sao Saab. Victory guma dije. Victory guma dije camera ki taraf. Yes, very good. Now, this pistol should become victory. Wo victory, victory rane do, pistol ko victory bana do. Ab wo jo pehla victory tha, usko pistol bana do. Sukhdipak sir, trigger nahi hai aapka thumb. Sukhdipak sir, tri trigger of the pistol. Pistol ka thumb. Pistol ka thumb. Haan. Wo thumb band kar dijiye. Victory ka thumb band kar dijiye. Victory wala thumb band kar dijiye. Sukhdi Pak sir. Haan. Pistol ka thumb kholiye. Haan. Very nice. Now, ye pistol ko dubara victory binaiye. Pistol ko dubara victory binaiye. Or us victory ko pistol binaiye. A pistol ko dubara victory binaiye. Pistol ko dubara victory binaiye. Or isko pistol binaiye. Jaldi mat kijiye pistol binaiye. Ki. Pahle dono victory binaiye. Toh fir ek pistol binao. Very good. Victory will sir. Victory will sir. Victory towards camera. Victory towards camera. हाँ और पिस्टल हाँ वेरी नाइस nice. अब पिस्टल को विक्ट्री बनाइए विक्ट्री वेल सर पिस्टल को विक्ट्री बनाइए पिस्टल को विक्ट्री बनाइए मेरी तरफ हाँ अब आप कीजिए चेंज वेरी गुड तो दोनों पहले विक्ट्री बनेगी एक पिस्टल बनेगा पिस्टल दोबारा विक्ट्री बनेगी दूसरा पिस्टल बनेगा लाइक दिस डोंट बी नारी एंड डोंट लुक टूवर्ड्स योर फिंगर्स जितना फिंगर्स को देखेंगे उतना गलती करेंगे अशोक सर विक्ट्री टूवर्ड्स कैमरा Ashok sir, victory towards camera. Yes, very good. Captain Srinathan Kumar, very nice. Trigger hai aapka upar. I can't see because aapka background blur hai. Koi baat nahi. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Pooja, very nice. You are already our student. So you're doing good. <laughs> very good. Vankate sir, very nice. Good try. Kuldeep sir, can I see you trying? Okay. Very nice. Very good. Now, once you become proficient, then you can do it fast. 
right? Till the time, do slow. Both victory, one pistol, that pistol becomes victory, other victory becomes pistol, then both victory, then one pistol, then pistol becomes victory, victory becomes pistol, and so on. So victory, pistol, pistol, victory, victory, pistol, pistol, victory, right? Okay, so keep practicing. We are going to practice it again tomorrow <laughs> and then we'll take a new exercise. Because aage door piche chhod koi nahi hai. Right? Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Sikh Deepak, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Guru Nandan. Very, very useful. And you know, uh, I find this, it actually tired me out. I mean, just shows that when you use your brain muscles also, along with your hand muscles, it can be tiring because you new new something getting activated somewhere. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm going to spend some time practicing it. <laughs> yeah, it's a new neuropath which is getting created, sir. Right. Wonderful. 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 So on this wonderful day, close your eyes. Take a long deep breath. Let go and relax. Take a long deep breath. <clears throat> Let go and relax. Let, inhale fully. Hold for a couple of seconds and then exhale slowly. Inhale slowly and exhale slowly. Inhale slowly, exhale slowly. <coughs> then when you are feeling relaxed, yeah, you can have your tea after the exercise is over, Venkatesh Ji. Yeah, allow your body to remain still, motionless. Today is a practical session, so please participate in it. Put all your attention on your toes. Put your attention on each and every one of your toes. Your complete awareness on your toes. And as you do that, just recall anything that happened to your toes in your life till now. Anything painful that happened connected with your toes, recall that, be in the presence of that and release that. And as you release that, be in the presence of your love, appreciation and gratitude towards your toes. Now pay attention to the rest of your feet. the soles of your feet, the top of your feet. And recall any incident in your life connected with your feet. If there's anything traumatic or painful that happened to your feet, remember that. experience it fully and discreate that. <clears throat> now become aware of your ankles. Be completely present to your ankles.
can recall anything that happened to your ankles. Any painful memory that you're holding on to, just release it and allow yourself to feel deep gratitude to your ankles for being there for you, functioning fully. Move upward slowly, experiencing fully your calf muscles, your shin bone. And recall any painful, traumatic thing that might have happened to your calf muscles, like a cramp or something to your shin bone. Mm -hmm. And whatever is there, release it and allow yourself to experience your gratitude and love for your calf muscles and your shin bones and your skin. Put your attention on your knees and thighs. Recall, recreate, and release. And when you've done that, express your deep gratitude to these organs. So during this exercise, it's useful to be undisturbed so you can do the exercises. Put your attention on your hips. on your genitals, remember, recreate and release. And give your love and gratitude to these organs. Go to your lower back, scan your entire back from the lower back to the top of your back, the backbone and the back. Do the same thing, recall, recreate and release any painful memories you might have. And as you do that, allow yourself to express your deep gratitude and love for your back. Now put all your attention on your lower abdomen and all the organs that are there. <clears throat> and do the same with this recall any incident, painful or otherwise. Yeah, recall, recreate that and release it. And once you've released it, allow yourself to express your deep gratitude for these part of your body now. Go to your middle abdomen and become aware of all your organs there, the pancreas, the spleen, the liver, the stomach, etc. All bladder. Yeah. So remember, that means recall recreate the memory and release it. And once you've released it, allow yourself to experience deep gratitude and love for this organ. Put all your attention on your chest, your lungs, your heart beating inside. Recall anything that happened to these parts of the body. Recreate that experience and then release it. And after you've released it, allow yourself to experience deep love and gratitude. Now put all your attention 
to your hands, the fingers, the palms, the wrists, the elbows, the upper arm, the entire both arms. Yeah, recall any incident connected with them, painful or otherwise, and release. Recreate first the experience. Release it. And then allow yourself to be in the space of deep love, appreciation, and gratitude. Put your attention on your shoulders and your neck. Recall, recreate, and release anything traumatic that happened. And then allow yourself to experience your deep love and gratitude. Now put your attention on your chin, your lips, your mouth, and do the same. Recall, recreate, and release. And as you do that, allow yourself to be left with a sense of deep love and gratitude. Do the same with your nose. Do it with your eyes. Your ears. So as you sit there, recall all the trauma and drama that you've experienced in your life. <clears throat> recall, recreate, and release all that so that you are free of that baggage that you've been carrying with you. And allow yourself to be in a state of deep gratitude for being alive. And to be able to experience this reality moment by moment. When you're feeling that gratitude, you can open your eyes anytime you like and put up your hands if you wish to share and go ahead and share. See, the important thing is what is it that becomes available to you? When you drop the shackles and the chains of the past trauma and drama that lingers somewhere and doesn't allow us to be 100% present. No, so this is an exercise you can do on your own also. Yes, uh, Captain Sir, Santhir Kumarji, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. In fact, uh, when you started with the toes, uh, in fact, I had a marathon toes. I think you must be aware what is marathon dose, right? Are you aware? No, I'm not. Sorry. Okay. So I tried marathon uh, all of a sudden because in the army we do 30, 40 kilometers. Yes, so yes. without any practice, I did one civil marathon in Chennai. And uh, the shoe was not actually for marathon, the shoe should be at least one, one and a half inch bigger shoe. So that when you run, the toe doesn't, you know, get friction with the shoe. So I was not aware of that. So I ran. Uh, of marathon when I came back all my 10 toes all of them were in blackish and it all got spoiled and then went to the doctor he said this is marathon toes and I did google any of you can just google and see every marathon runner gets at some point of the time so all my 10 toes for almost six months I had to take care and then uh, it of course it healed but all the nails came up all the nails came off all the 10 Never. of them all the 10 nails came off and then the next marathon was, I was very careful to get the right kind of shoes. Then you move to uh, ankle. I had so many twists in the ankles during badminton. Then you came to shin during army parade. Everybody in the academy, we get shin fracture. 
invariably because they they ask us to thumb so much hard in the parade right. ground so the shin fracture is every cadet will have it some of them they go and do a sick report miss their training get relegated some endure that pain and go through i had gone through that i didn't go for sick report i pushed it and then i came out luckily without any issue then uh, it came to the knee i had a, a twist but again god's grace not admitted then it came to the uh, hips again i had some issue but no admission required with uh, self healing it got over <clears throat> then uh, <laughs> stress uh, ulcer also to at a point not ulcer but i used to have acidity and all due to irregular uh, had food habit so when you explain every part something had been there but really as you said uh, probably i have not given gratitude because everything I, i have come over it and everything has been a learning right so fantastic thanks for indulging me into that uh, the, uh, fantastic thank experience thank, thank you. you thank you captain Dab. thank you very much for sharing that <clears throat> see how much we carry without even realizing it thank you very much all right anybody else who would like to share this experience whatever they experienced and more importantly what is it left you with now that you have released it yes neeti <clears throat> yes sir um i've also had a couple of injuries and uh, all of that so going through this exercise releasing each experience and the painful part of it is leaving me with a feeling of relief lot of relief and now i can just look at it as something that happened rather than carrying it with me so there's been a shift in that thank you so much wonderful thank you very much for sharing it pooja ji you did the exercise with partial attention but nevertheless it was my daughter is about to go to school at this time so so ah, it's difficult okay. to coordinate okay. um so usually when i do the exercise uh, a lot of time what happens with me is i re, re go into the past event and instead of getting it released it just gets empowered on me i mean just i again get that hurt feeling again in me when i re remember those things so what what to do about that you do what was done in the exercise no <clears throat> remember recall recreate release recreate okay yeah recreate, recreate means you as how you want yeah experience it exactly the way it happened and then release it there's an exercise called uncreation or discreation that we have taught everybody here so you can do that okay okay hmm. i'll try doing that yes ji okay. you missed out the crucial initial part of today's exercise you know that's why this question came up never mind you can do it again you can watch the recording and do it yeah. all right yeah all right good thank you very much okay who else anybody else yes dr hirul so actually when i did this exercise um, today actually i came on bed and i did it otherwise i will be in kitchen and doing something all the time i was fallen down recently and uh, i got hurt on my right uh, leg and uh, back little bit so um, actually i followed what you said and uh, wherever there was a pain before when i fallen down uh, that pain came up actually in between and then i just uh, uh given some energy to those place and i try to expand my energy at that place actually where there was a pain and then it released actually like literally i could feel uh when there was a pain when i fallen down the <clears throat> same pain has come out and then i felt it has just released i mean you know the way the moment i said uh, expand the energy over there and i i just tried to uh, expand that energy whatever was there that painful thing and uh, it was really nice and i'm feeling released all the pain thank thank you thank for you, this thank experience. you thank you thank you for sharing so everybody remember recall recreate and release okay the more we release the stuff that we are carrying 
the more we will be able to move forward with velocity to create a life of unlimited possibility. All right. So what are you going to create today? What are you going to add to your life today that would allow you to have a future that you desire? Okay. Today is a wonderful day. It's a wonderful day because it's an, it's an opportunity for you to experience so many things. You know, you can stick to your comfort zone and do what you automatically do every day and then say, Ye maza nahi aada, I'm not enjoying it. Or you can create something exciting. Maybe you could do the same thing that you always do, but with more whim, vigor and vitality, with more energy by being 10 times more excited, right? So that this is not another ordinary day. I can choose to make it an extraordinary day if I so desire. So obviously, I don't need to ask you a question. Do you want it to be an ordinary day? No. Do you want it to be an extraordinary day? Yes. Okay, so let's produce some josh and have it be the wonderful day that it is made, that's supposed to be, all right? So now I have no more gyan for you today, okay? But I do have some wonderful chairi from our friend. <clears throat> is Kamal Dupare there? Kamal, 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 Kamal. Yes. Yes, sir. So we start morning, with Kamal ji. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, sir, for that wonderful exercise. And I know I was in that attention mode. And at the same time, acknowledging all the part of the party that, okay, thank God till now, I have not got any kind of injury or anything, no, bad. but yes, uh, due to my sedentary lifestyle nowadays, the back, back ache which is coming. So, no, I'm trying to recreate it so that, no, it would be more, uh, less pain. Why don't okay. you learn, why don't, batteries, why so, don't you, wait a minute, why don't you learn? That three minutes scientific yoga from uh, Colonel Seva Singh. If you want, I'll send you his number. Hmm? I do that for yeah, three minutes sure. the moment I wake up in the morning. It's one of the most wonderful things I've learned. I've never missed it once since the day I started it. You have to mark your attendance every day. You know that once you do it. So okay. consistency, you know. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Consistently, my friend, you know, somebody knows who I'm talking to. Okay, go ahead, Kamal. <laughs> yeah. Shesha, uh, uh, today is holy, so I remember one thing that no one doesn't wear a color on me. No one doesn't wear a color on me. It's so clear that your love is so clear. Wow. <laughs> So who is who is going to translate that? Hmm? It's a very difficult. Chalo, we'll ask Kuldeep Ji to do it. Kuldeep Ji is going to tell his share anyway. So Kuldeep Ji, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Ab kabhi kabhi aate ho, magar bahut khushi deke jaate ho. So thank you, sir. <clears throat> It is uh, somehow similar to that no color can empower myself because I am deep down with your color which is so deep in my heart. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So holy ki bata to holy ko kore. Sne ke rang me rang do dunya sari. Wow. Sne ke rang me rang do dunya sari. Or प्यार के रंग से अब भर लो पिचकारी <laughs> प्यार के रंग से अब भर लो पिचकारी ये रंग 
सुने उसको ये रंग न जाने कोई जाति न कोई बोली ये रंग न जाने कोई जाति न कोई बोली आप सबको मुबारक हो ये रंग बिरंगी होली वाह thank you thank you thank wow. you i think better you translate it yourself you know nobody can do better than that they say fill up all this world with love with the color And, of love yes isne aur tar ke se bhar lo pichkari fill your toy gun with love this color doesn't know any cast or any language or we wish you a very colorful holiday all right on that note thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you everybody and wishing you all those in mumbai and some parts of the country which are celebrating holi today happy holi and all those who will celebrate it tomorrow again happy holi right be holy on this holi don't do any mischief yeah be holy on this holi A lot of people do a lot of mischief on the holy, so no mischief, Abhi Nav. All right, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great day, have a great life, and see you tomorrow for another empowering morning conversation. I'd love to see your painted faces. Why don't you some put some pictures on the group today? By the way, the group will be open for your sharing from 8 a.m. and it will be open till 10 p.m. And my congratulations to all those who have already submitted their contest entries and the starter. the starter the brave person was pooja and all of you are requested to send me your email ids okay so that i can arrange for you to get something surprising okay sir i and have we... id can i send my granddaughter yeah yeah you can you can no problem okay. and hello but first we need your entry you know yes, for the contest that. Yeah. yeah yeah so all those who have not sent their entries to the contest please do so we are looking yeah. forward to receive them thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you bye bye thank you everybody happy holi thank you everybody